you guys know your way around town yet, I guess would be the first one. <laughs> uh, learning my way around uh, more and more every day. Um, a lot of very good restaurants. Um, a lot of good scenery to, you know, just take in the, the area and, and do a lot of thinking. So i um, enjoying Boone so far. We'll, we'll get your restaurant list later. Um, <laughs> as, you guys have, as you guys have come in, you know, you've, you've worked with Dustin before. Um, you know, how, how smoothly would you say this transition has gone? Because there's more to making this transition than just coming in and coaching basketball for you. You know, it's, it's a, you know, maybe a, a little bit different from a recruiting perspective. You've got your home life to worry about. I mean, how would you each qualify the, the way that you feel like the transition's taking place? Transition's been, it's been great. It definitely has been smoother because we're not having to learn what he likes and what he wants. Um, we've really uh, enjoyed it. The, it's, it's different, though, because it's a different program than where we came from. However, Coach Allison has been a huge help for that as well. He's, he's been awesome. He's helped this transition be a lot smoother for not only us, but Coach Kearns as well. But us not having to learn Coach's style and what he likes has been really uh, made it a lot, the process a lot better. I asked Coach just about defense because he's talked def like about defensive stuff a lot uh, since he's gotten here. Just, yeah, for you guys, what is, what does your role look like in helping kind of reestablish the identity of this team and starting on the defensive end like he's talking about? Well, I think our job as, as assistants is to reaffirm the message from the head coach. And so, you know, when you're talking about taking over a program, it's making sure it's kind of like when head coaches hire former players, we came with him, we get a chance to communicate that message. Also, you know, wayside teaching in the locker room, through lunches, dinners, stuff like that. His expectations don't change, and we just try to continue to communicate those, whether it be in the locker room, on the practice floor, teaching, film, whatever that might be. You know, he mentioned that um, that Donovan and Kendall are guys that are probably going to see some time and kind of seem to be separating themselves at least a little bit in, in this freshman class. You know, what has it been like getting in and working with those guys and trying to help them transition and kind of tap into their potential? Um, what well, they're just learning from the day-to-day -day aspect of what it takes to be a successful college athlete. And so they're getting the extra work in, they're getting the film work in, um, they're doing the extra things that they need to do above and beyond to take care of their bodies. And just doing the things that they need to do to make sure that they're successful early on in their, in their college career. And um, you know they came in as very talented players, but they're knowing that they're gonna go against players that are just as talented or more talented than them on a night-to-night -night basis. And so the things that they're doing to make sure that they're more prepared, they've done a good job of listening to the coaching staff and to the older players to make sure that they're prepared. And so they're, they've been locked in for that on a daily basis. What are some things that were already here uh, that excites you, uh, some positives? The community's been awesome. Community, the support, I mean, it's, uh, <clears throat> they eat up App State athletics and that has just been just so awesome, just people coming into the office every day saying, hey, excited for basketball, can't wait for it to tip off. We had a tip-off dinner last a couple weeks ago, and just the support there and the buzz, um, now it's our job to, you know, keep them excited. And so that community aspect has just been really awesome to be a part of. How do you get that buzz to transfer from the community outside to what's going on inside the locker room and transfer to the court? I think they, the, the buzz is just the guys have fallen in love with the process. Um, coach preaches our process to them every single day, and they've been listening, they've been eager, and they've been a lot of fun to coach. Guys, I'll throw this to, uh, to all of you here. Um, we, we watch you guys, we watch Coach, and, and we see your, your message as to what you're developing, what you're trying to do. You're all sports fans, you're all individuals too. You've been here over the summer, you've been putting all this together. On the inside, are you guys chomping at the bit, saying, okay, let's get this season underway. We wanna, we wanna put our wares out there. How do you kind of manage that and, and hold the, the inside of, let's get going, let's see what we can do with the, the, the gentle tone that you're trying to put out in terms of what you're trying to build as a program? Yeah, I think, you know, the excitement 
hasn't worn off from when we first got here. Uh, people make the plays. And so, um, you know, I, I, I get it starts with the quote unquote first game, but like it's been committed to the process since day one. Yeah, I would just add that that it's going to sound redundant, but we're just preaching to them the process, the process, the process, because it's not anything that we implement is not going to be implemented overnight. You know, we just got to make sure we keep teaching those principles and teaching those habits that we want in them to to show on the floor on any every given night that we play a game. And so we're just going to keep teaching that to them and, and keep implementing it and, and let it transfer from practice to, to the games. Practice has just been a lot of fun. Uh, it's a new group. It's a bunch of new guys. They're still coming together. They're still getting connected. And so uh, the excitement is watching them grow. That's what's really exciting. When it comes to walking into a new program with an existing roster, and there's some talented players <coughs> on that roster, what is the process that you guys go through to evaluate them individually and recognize here's where they're good, here's where their strengths lie, here's the next level for each of them, and then communicating that to them and, and kind of pulling that out of them, you know, mm -hmm. to, to take what's already solid or good in their game and push it to another level? Well, we kind of have to show them the, the greatness that they have inside them before they even realize it. And so we do that through player development. We're big on player development here. And we do that through film study. And um, you know, we, we kind of show them, because uh, all of them have aspirations to play professionally and to make money one day. And so we show them different examples of guys that have come before them at, at similar levels to where they can get what they need to do on a daily basis to get to the level that they want to get to to play um, and make money. And so when they, they see that there's a level that they're at right now, but if they get to that next level and put in the work that they can, that they can do that, then they'll see that you know, there, there's a lot that they can achieve on a successful level and to start um, making money once they finish their career here at App State. One thing we did too when we were hired and we got this position, we reached out to all the guys returning and we asked them something, just a simple question, hey, what do you want to get better at? And when they, you know, gave us a, a, you know, a bullet point of what they wanted to work on, where they wanted to grow, we also watched film before we came here to see where we thought they could grow as well. And so, you know, it's a mixture of what we see and what they want and, and they've really bought into everything and they've been getting a lot better, but they put in the work. It's as simple as that. They've been really putting in the work. 